Tesla here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I have a really exciting video today. I was pleasantly surprised with a really big box from none other than Kylie Cosmetics. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting this. This was just you know, a really fun surprise. I have been on the Kylie Skin PR list for some time, and I've actually been really enjoying the Kylie Skin products, but um, I did not expect to be on the cosmetic side of things as far as like receiving PR. However, um, as you know, or if you're not aware, Kylie did do a rebrand of sorts where uh, she and her team have uh, reformulated the products to be vegan and cruelty free and just overall I guess some different shifts within the company and with that I received again this really exciting box and there's actually outer packaging but I'll just show you guys if I can um, the box came like this Okay, so I got pretty much a, a breadth of products from her line. I don't think I got everything, which is like actually okay, because <laughs> there's quite a bit. And uh, I was just like really, really pleasantly surprised to see all of these different products. So just so you guys can see here, uh, there's quite a lot of stuff. This is pretty extensive. So I have the liquid lipsticks, we have glosses here, uh, bronzers, blushes and highlighters, eyeliner pens, uh, lip liners, brow products. So she pretty much has like almost everything you need, I think, except for like a foundation, which I would not be surprised given that she's got skincare that comes out at some point. Um, but today's look, I actually did do using the, the new gel liner. I did the reverse cat eye trend, which has grown in popularity thanks to the amazing makeup artist painted by Spencer. And so I wanted to combine two things. I wanted to do a tutorial, trying the trend out on myself to see how it would turn out, and then also try out some of the new Kylie products. So I have everything Kylie, pretty much except for the my foundation and concealer um, on my face today. So I did use like the uh, brow pencil. Um, I did use on my eye, however, shameless plug here, my eye kit with one click beauty and I only used like one shade because if you watch painted by Spencer's tutorial he keeps it super duper simple so I just used this like um, brown shade here in the crease and um, one other eyeshadow palette I used the Winky Lux Galaxy Kitten palette I used the black here just to set the black eyeliner um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I did put lashes on um, even though that's not necessary and painted by Spencer's tutorial. He uses just mascara but when I was done with this I felt a little bit naked on the top and I thought let me just be a really careful with the application not get, get too thick with the liner on the top so I did do some magnetic lashes on the top just to kind of finish off the look but I'm really happy with how everything turned out like I have um, Kylie's blush and highlighter on as well so I'm going to be showing you guys the tutorial for this look as well as swatches of the products uh, again thank you to Kylie Cosmetics for sending these products to me I'm really excited to try everything and so I'm gonna do uh, the swatches we'll do a tutorial and then I'll close out with my final thoughts
So guys, overall, I am really happy with how my look turned out. I think I mentioned at the intro of the video. And I am gonna see how these products wear. This is kind of more so a first impressions, but overall, I think everything performed beautifully. I'm really impressed with the creaminess of the eyeliners. The lip pencils are beautiful. The liquid lipsticks, usually I'm not a big matte liquid lip girl, but it feels really comfortable on the lips. We'll just have to see how they wear. Uh, I love glosses, so I really like the texture of the glosses. If I could compare them to anything, in my opinion, they feel similar kind of between the, the Fenty uh, glosses and the Maybelline Lifter glosses, kind of that same consistency, like they don't feel like super duper sticky, um, but there's a nice heft to them, so they feel substantive. Um, I have to say the, the blush applied really beautiful, beautifully, excuse me, and the bronzer as well, really, really nice. The only thing I would say is that, um, you know, I got shades that worked for me. And so, um, you know, for someone who's maybe looking to go a little bit deeper. So as far as the bronzers go, I got four. I think there are six total, or at least that's what I saw on the website. I felt like I was able to get the shade that I used to work for me. I used the deepest of the shades that came in the collection. I used almond, so this was the deepest one that I received um, from the website I couldn't really tell so well how much deeper these go but um, hopefully the bronzer line is something that can be expanded because the formula is actually really really nice I found that it went on really smoothly um, I actually made like a little little boo-boo and got a little bit heavy-handed but I found that this blended out really nicely and so I didn't feel like I, I ended up looking like too muddy or, or crazy so I, I really like the formulation I'll say the powder products are really really smooth um, I think the highlighters are really lovely I do think however the four of the four shades that I got, like the three colors are a little bit close. Um, I couldn't really tell the difference swatching them, but um, again, I haven't worn all four of them on my face. So again, first impressions, the colors do look kind of similar, but it could just be, you know, user error and maybe practicing with them. Um, but yeah, I would say overall, the, the quality of the products is there. The textures are there. The formulation is there. Uh, application is really easy the formulas are really blendable and I am really excited to dig a little bit deeper and and try these products more so over time and maybe update you guys with my thoughts uh, I would love to hear in the comments down below what you think about Kylie cosmetics are you happy about the rebrand do you think there's a big difference in terms of what she's putting out there um, I personally hadn't really tried a ton of the cosmetics before. I had purchased like a Christmas collection a while ago and some of the bullet lipsticks and I thought that they were nice, but I, I sense or I feel that there's like a, a little step up in quality since that time. I'll be interested to see her come out with more eyeshadow products and eye products. I think that this is a really exciting new chapter for the brand and for the company and I'm really excited that I had the chance to try so many of the products in one go and create this look which I'm personally really enjoying like let me close give you a close up yeah I it, it's fun it's fun it's a little it's a little dramatic under here I think next time that I try this look I'll try to go a little bit more gentle with the application but you know, I, I thought everything turned out really, really well. I will put in the description box the details on the other complexion products that I used and um, everything that I used in the tutorial, but you know, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is always a pleasure to join you, chat about makeup. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. If you like this kind of content, please like the video and I would love to get a comment from you uh, so we can talk about your thoughts on what I've shared with you here today. Uh, thanks again so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.